Hi there and welcome back friends to Stellaris the Cthulhu myth. Now I've promised you to look at the new empires we have encountered and what's going on in the diplomacy about them. Now much of these are like randomly generated even. They are just there should be only six of them in the game but we have encountered some of them. And the randomly generated ones are the Ikanans, these collectivist materialists here. The Jogolvas, the Traskaran Council, uh, the Dethakans. They are all like not, uh, not directly belonging to the Cthulhu myth, but what is, is, and I'm going to talk about these two, because they are new to our Star Republic, the Legix Principality and the Cartel of the Fifth Sun. Now, I've opened, uh, <laughs> because this is like the, the best thing you can find, is yoxsothoth.com, so I've looked it up there and uh, it's it's not very prominent it's among the planet uh, list there so Le Gux principality is basically on the planet Uranus in the Cthulhu myth and these guys I have shaped them after it unfortunately there are no robots yet in Stellaris officially at least so um, the Le Gux principality is uh, are metallic cube-shaped beings with multiple legs um, and as you see I'll open it up I have uh, yeah, reshaped that so we have some kind of a cube at the uh, as some kind of head and multiple legs so that's that's what they're made of and what these are is they worship a minor deity known as Lrog. That's why they are uh, spiritualists and they are an, uh, this is an aspect of the great star messenger Nialathotep. And these rituals require a yearly sacrifice in the form of excising of the legs from a native. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> They are pretty spiritualist, and um, now they have they have a connection to the insects from Shagai, the Shan, so-called Shan, which we will meet later probably. And they were tolerated, but then they sent them away again. So um, because they uh, felt that uh, they are. Hmm, not in order with yeah, <laughs> with a foreign species it's just like that so they probably have tolerated the Shan these insect people only because of a lack of might to draw draw them away and uh, the Shan yeah they <laughs> They went away when they saw the, the, the cruel religious practices of the Lejinx Principality, who um, yeah, basically sacrificed natives to Nialathotep. And because of that, they are evangelizing zealots, and they seek to spread their faith across the galaxy, and are not above using military might to force others to accept their beliefs. They are collectivists, xenophobes, and spiritualists. And as you can see, they are not a very pleasant people. <laughs> now, the dominion of Yignau has come under the control of the Jogolwa hierarchy, who are from their looks and uh, their superiority linked to the star spawn of Cthulhu. And now lastly, the cartel of the fifth son, which are collectivists, xenophobes and materialists. They come from uh, 
they are the so-called Nuxoth people. They come from Yadith. So, um, they are some kind of combination of avian fungi creatures. And they are possibly have been destroyed, but um, remnants of these old civilizations are now these Nuxoth people. And um, I'll tell you what it, what it reads here on Yadith. Eons ago, Yadith was inhabited by the Nuxoth creatures with traits similar to mammals, mammals, reptiles and insects. The Nuxoth sought a way to prevent the destruction of their planet's crust by the doles, another but not intellectual or yeah, uh, yeah, a, a prescient race, but to no avail. The doles overwhelmed them and destroyed the Nuxoth civilization. Survivors of the catastrophe escaped, and these are our heroes there, or our friends, however, and hid on various planets. And, uh, yeah, well, they are rather bizarre angels, too. They have switched their hands and eyes, and yeah, I have tried to duplicate this with uh, <laughs> with the odd look that you can get from an from the avians here, which is a combination of a fungoid and some birds and reptiles, and the avian is basically so they can get uh, also the ships of the avians, but. They combine so much aspects and they're, especially they are a science directorate and they're xenophobes. Why? Because of their history, because of an alien uh, menace that drove them away from their planet. So these are the two new races we have encountered and now, uh, after this long <laughs> journey into the Cthulhu myth, let's start our game for a bit. Construction complete. Oh, and Wak Wak has constructed the HUM Nimble, another colony ship. Let's see, we can send it over here to Birana, probably. Birana 2A. Yeah, we'll send them. They're strong, slow learners, fanatic materialists. Let's go. It's not the best planet, it's rather the worst, but anyways. We can bring it under the control of our sector, and then all will be fine. We'll be under the control of the Tindis sector, and I think I will change the Tindis sector now. To, um, or to industrial, f industrial, fo I, I already did this, all right. Oh, their energy credits are low here. Maybe they need more of that? Hmm. We need to give them some energy credits. But these are pretty good. And we'll bring this colony under the control of the Tindis sector as well. Now let's look at our construction ship. We need to go to our dock to build a research station. Because it's very, very good here. All the our docked planets have very curious resources. And in Adar, there is something we can do here here as well. Let's see about that. I think here... No? No, that already everything is mined up. So, Yiriam. But I think that is already being made here. Put the mining station here then and help the other construction ship. We have very high research now in engineering. 
going up by the minute. The Lejinx Principality has declared the Traskaran Council their rival. Yeah, and as you can see, the Traskarans, they will be not long for this world, I fear. Soon we will have enlightened another civilization, though, and we'll see what comes of this. Oh, and we can upgrade a building here. Etherian Power Plant 2. Here, oh, everything in order? Relatively. The hydrophonics farm here, and the new settler will go up there. Yeah, and rivalries going on here. Apart from our being peaceful, there will be war in these in these uh, systems. And let's see about Korak. Have we founded another? No, we have no other um, colony ship going. Maybe we should have one though. Let's look at that. There's still Tidis to go for. And we will build a colony ship in Tindis as soon as we can. Oh, the Traskaran and the Lejinx Principality going at it again. Let's see about that. Who are we going to take? These are... yeah, they are in line with our... Civilization. It's always a plus to um, to take the people that are uh, very close to your ideolo ideology. Leads to much less problems, I guess. We already have a faction because of that, and I I don't know that faction. Ah, here, planetary separatist faction may appear on colonized worlds and seek to free the planet from imperial rule. Given enough popular support, they may even take up arms. Click to select. Double click to go to. Let's see. Ah, yeah, of course. An independent Apollonia. Sabine Schäfer. <laughs> the Bacturian. <laughs> what can we do here? They have no support. can suppress the media. I don't think that will be... can bribe the leaders. No. We have the loyalists there. All will be good. Let's see. What's going on on Apollonia? Yeah, we... <laughs> we have a Bacturian here. Construction yeah. complete. Very nice. She's also, I think, I think she was one of the spiritualists, but we've tolerated them. Palina, yes, Palina has up there. Um, they're building a central building here. Now look at that. What a nice planet. System survey complete. Shariat has been looked at. Uh, we, we, have, we have now um, crossed the Dragolwa hierarchy. We had uh, gained access to it for a quest. 
And now we are complete. free to fly through for a while. And I'm really, really going for the surface construction here. Uh, but everything is going well right now. Construction Except our complete. energy credits seem to go down very massively. Nova Babylon. Two. Ah! And now we're free here to upgrade these things as well. That's impressively good. Let's go for more farms. We want the population to grow massively quickly. That's why we are complete. forcing these upgrades quickly. Another one is migrating. Research complete. Oh, that migration. Oh, Batarian Power Plant 3. Yeah, totally going for that. And some research is finished. Let's look at that. We have finished the Global Research Initiative. Map the stars. Wow, that would have been good at the start. Now I'm not so keen on that, but the Research Institute. Ah. We will wait for that and I think we, we have that one free spot on Earth where we will build it. The Research Institute is a massive complex gathering the cutting edges of disparate fields together for unprecedented synergy, improving the research output of the whole planet. Very, very good indeed. And what is the other technology? Orbital hydrophonics, the challenges inherent in cultivating crops in zero G are fairly unique, but far from insurmountable. And what will be our new? Well, let's look at that. We have no void craft here and we have not much here. So we'll go for the bio lab. I think these would be nice but so expensive and I'd rather do let the non-specialists do the groundwork. Same here. You're in for some groundwork. Sentinel point defense. Oh and there's so much to build still. Like, this is the good thing in, in Stellaris, there's always something to do. All of our construction ships need something. <laughs> oh man, we need more minerals. Have I, have I said that already? Well, maybe we should go for the minerals first, huh? Yeah, build something here. <laughs> And you're in for something as well. Let's look at that. What can we still build? Segathia, not yet in our reach. Serban, though, yeah, it has a planet. So we won't, we don't want something there. Could go for Kurgaros, maybe? Yes, let's go to Kurgaros and build mining stations there. There we go. And away are our minerals. <laughs> All these minerals. Look at our empire. And they're up in the plus again. That's good. Yeah, this is our research sector. Very good. Now an R docked. Let's build another research station here. Oh, 
and soon we'll have eight planets again. So this Birana will be brought over to the Tindus sector as well. Oh, on Earth, something is... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> People are fleeing from Earth for some reason. That's very strange, but still. Oh, and we wanted to... We wanted to wait for the Research Institute. We want to... We want to build that dially. Let's do that. Let's wait for it. And the Biribits will soon be enlightened. Construction complete. More Yiriam stations. Hadrian uh, Anvil can move now. Let's go to Isterias. Mm -hmm. Earth is small now. What's going on here? But they're growing quickly. So that's good. We can build that research institute now. We will do that. 